Hi YouTube, it's Lena, and I'm here today with a 1920s makeup tutorial with the Geeks and Beauties community. So first, I'm going in with an eyeshadow base. This is the LA Colors um, eyeshadow pencil in Seashell. Next, I will be going in with the Slate shade for my Lorac Pro. When they, when they did more of the nighttime looks back in the day, they tended to go with a lot more darker, smokier colors. And instead of going upwards and a more cat eye motion, they tended to go a little bit more downwards. This was to give a more wide-eyed ingenue appearance. So once I am done with that, I am actually taking a little bit of the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer and using a little bit of that to blend out my crease and blend out any harsh areas. Next, I'm going in with my Urban Decay 24-7 Eyeliner in Perversion and creating a quite a thick line because I'm going to be smudging it in a second with a Q-tip because they tended to have much more of a smudgy, slightly messy look back then. So once I'm done with that, I'm going in with my Max Zoom Lash Mascara for a coat on the bottom lashes and two coats on the top lashes. Now back in the day, they actually used to have cake mascara, which was applied with a little brush and comb. And yes, I do see the mascara on my face. I'll get that in a second. But this created a very kind of clumpy lash look. So that is what I am trying to emulate here because I have not bought Bessemer's Cake Lash Mascara. So next I'm going in with my foundation and a little bit of a whitener. Now, back in the day, rather than be having a tan symbolizing that you had time to lay out in the sun, the idea was to be as pale as possible to show that you didn't have to work outside at all like the other regular day laborers. So I am just trying to emulate that, even though I'm quite pale as it is. By the way, this L'Oreal sponge, it eats foundation like no other, you know, just to let you guys know. So once that's in place, I'm going to take my Tarte Maracuja Creaseless Concealer and just pop that in under my eyes. Now once that is set with a little bit of powder, we're actually going to go back and finish the un finish the bottom of the eyes. First, I am tight lining and lining my waterline with the same Urban Decay pencil as earlier. And then I'm going to line my lower lash line. And once I am done with that, I will be going back in with Slate and just smudging it out. They had a very kind of almost messy look back then. So that's just what I'm trying to look like here. Next, I am using my Bite Beauty Lip Pencil and Pomegranate. And I'm actually using that more as a cream rouge because that was what was more popular back in the day was a cream rouge. So I'm just popping that more on the apples of my cheeks. Now I'm setting all of that with my face powder. It is the e.l.f. Translucent Powder. The mattifying version, by the way. Now we are going in with the lips. First I'm actually taking a concealer and blanking out my lips because I have a bigger bottom lip than top lip and they really like to emphasize the cupid's bow which I do have a prominent one but my bottom lip does not quite match it. So first I'm filling in my top lip and then just as an easy trick I am rubbing my lips together to see where I should fill in on the bottom. Finally, I'm going back in with that Bite Beauty pencil and just filling in where the uh, lip liner is. Hello, hello. So that's it. Thanks for tuning in. Hope I see you later. Bye.